What's up guys? I'm Mike. This is the Autoblog YouTube channel. And you guys know I'm a Ford guy. I'm used to driving Mustangs. But today I have the 2017 Chevy Camaro SS. But it's not just any SS. This is the track version 1LE. Not quite a ZL1. However, it is better than a Mustang GT with a performance package. That's coming from a Ford guy. I know we're all waiting to just get inside and drive off in this beast, but let's take a look at what sets the 1LE apart from just an SS in the Camaro lineup. Standard for the 1LE is the satin black wrapped hood that makes it look absolutely awesome. Except for when you put your fingers on here, don't do that. Specific to the 1LE, we also have a satin black wrapped front splitter. This three-piece spoiler is satin blacked as well, only available on the 1LE. All around we have 20-inch forged aluminum wheels that are wrapped in Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3 tires that were specifically made for the Camaro. Now under the hood we have the 6.2 liter V8 producing 455 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> obviously a six-speed manual as you guys can tell why would you need paddle shifters but if you were wondering they are for the rev matching feature which is kind of cool I don't really use it Whoa. this thing sounds so good it completely destroys a regular Mustang a GT that is in sound it's absolutely amazing as we get to this red light here we do have different driving modes so we have tour and that closes the exhaust valves still sounds pretty good and then we take it down to sport which opens the exhaust valves oops gotta go here listen That is the sound of America. It's also the traffic of America. Get out of my way. Now back to the driving modes. If we push down once more, we have track mode, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's for when you want to drive on the track, which this Camaro is built for. But let's talk a little more about the 1LE package. So it is a $6,600 option. And what is it that you actually get? We talked about the exterior cosmetics already, but one of the most important things that you do get is magnetic ride control, which is obviously for track use. Now we mentioned the tires real quick while we were outside of the car. They are 285, 30, 20 up front. They're 305s in the back. criticism for and that's visibility especially in the rear I currently have a police officer following me I think he's following me he hasn't pulled me over but when he's up close I can hardly see him because the rear windshield is so tiny I think I lost him though 
But other than that, I love the interior of this car. It, that also gets a lot of criticism. I, however, don't really think it's that bad. It is a huge step up from the fifth gen Camaro. And that's actually coming from a Mercedes owner. Uh, Mercedes is number one in the game when it comes to interiors. And I actually kind of like this here. We have suede Recaro seats, which hug perfectly. They are amazing. We have a suede flat bottom steering wheel and the gear lever is in suede as well we have a very nice digital instrument cluster speedometer in the middle and then we have an analog speedometer to the right of it and then the tachometer to the left now one thing that I really like is the air vents they are big and you actually turn them to change the temperature inside the car which is pretty cool I like that now the Chevy MyLink infotainment system I think they still call it Chevy MyLink or MyLink Chevy or something like that is actually also very good it's responsive easy to navigate and understand well, let's talk about the sound That gives you an indication of how good this car actually is. Storage space, however, is eh, not very good. We got two cup holders, pretty small, and then a little cubby here where the owner, Josh, has a lot of McDonald's receipts, which is pretty much all you can fit in this car. The back seat, we shouldn't even talk about it. It is absolutely useless. It's even worse than a Mustang. I mean, it's just bad. A newborn Vern Troyer would feel cramped back there. It's only really good for putting bags, groceries, that kind of thing back there. A human being can't fit. However, that's not what this car is for. It is meant for the track. Not that we have a track here today, but... Yet, 
just meaning that you can get a higher trim level of the one elite with nicer interior and so on now one thing that this car is missing though that is an option is the performance data recorder which is obviously absolutely awesome to have if you want to know every intricate detail of your track use in the Camaro SS1 LE. One thing that I forgot to mention is that it has a limited slip differential, 373 gears, only available on a Camaro SS if you have the 1 LE package. And these tires, they're good. They are really, really good. They are summer only tires, so forget even trying to drive this bad boy in the winter. I am really, really impressed. Now, I have to be honest and say that I am not a track car expert, but from driving a lot of different muscle cars, I have a performance car myself. The handling of this car, it is amazing. For someone that is not an expert like myself, can still tell that there's a huge difference. This car is made for track use, and I am extremely impressed with the Camaro SS1 LE. I would love to drive a ZL1 1 LE that will be available for 2018 to see the difference. As we're pulling into North Star Chevy, which is where the owner of this car, Josh, works in Moon Township, I wanna give a special thanks to him for letting me review this car for you guys today. Follow him on Instagram. It'll be linked in the description below this video. Now let me know your favorite attributes of the 2017-18 Camaro SS 1LE R in the comment section below. I love driving this car. I really, really enjoyed it. I think you guys can tell. So if you're stopping by the channel for the first time and you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Oh, my God.